Okay, it's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to Nth Level Entertainment, the most awesome series, comic book, and movie related YouTube channel in South Africa. I am your host, Zwede Tumakamu, aka Z the Entertainer, and welcome to episode 5 of my MCU recap review series. Today's episode is going to be The Avengers. Now, I just finished watching this movie, and um, I've got to admit that, you know, it's every bit as good as when it was when I went to go and see it with my daughter in 2012 as it is now. It really does hold up. We have had three phases already that have gone past since the MCU started. And I mean, the effects and everything, the visuals, the, 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 the dialogue and the screenplay, everything, the, the character development, it all holds up to every single Marvel Cinematic Universe movie that has come out since then. Um, this basically sees the culmination of what we saw beginning from Iron Man 1 all the way up until Captain America First Avenger. It's basically the culmination of all these individual heroes, stories and journeys uh, basically coming into one and us seeing the larger threat of what they were facing. It was even the introduction of Thanos in the post credit scene uh, when we see him being introduced for the fir very first time when um, that general or whatever it was of the Shatari um, uh, army said that uh, you know to to challenge earth is to court death and then we see Thanos turning around very creepily and smiling even creepier so this was a great movie um one of my favorite things about this movie was always the dialogue you know um especially in the scenes where where, where the movie actually opens up and um we see Nick Fury at one of the shield bases or something like that with um, Dr. Eric Selvig and Hawkeye uh, basically reacting to something that the Tesseract was doing. So Dr. Eric Selvig says <laughs> the Tesseract is misbehaving. Um, and then, you know, Nick Fury is like, is that supposed to be funny? He's like, well, not only is it active, but it's behaving. And he says it's throwing off low levels of gamma radiation. And Nick Fury says, well, that can be harmful, you know? So it was just one of those examples of, I don't know whether it was just reading himself or the movie, but um, whoever did write that screenplay did a fantastic job in making the dialogue very smart and witty, um, even though it was a very like serious film with regards to the threats that they were facing. So we, we, we see that happen and uh, we see Loki coming through, um, making his comeback from Thor as the main villain, which is also very, very um, accurate to how the Avengers came together the first time in the comics as well. Um, Loki was the threat that actually came down to Earth that they all had to assemble to fight. So the way that all the characters were actually introduced sequentially in this movie was actually quite smart. You know, I mean, first we see Hawkeye, obviously he's a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent, so we see him with Nick Fury. And then later we see Bruce Banner being recruited by the Black Widow um, in some remote village in Calcutta, I think it was. And uh, he's basically working there as a doctor, trying to focus on helping people. Um, and and we see um, a child come up to him to try and recruit him. So one of his lines that I liked a lot there was when um, Natasha Romanoff was basically making some sort of a, a light threat, so to speak, um, as to um, what she would do. And he says, well, that's not, um, I mean, that's, you know, what if the other guy doesn't uh, comply? You know, so that was a very smart thing of him actually making reference to the Hulk being himself and his other persona. I mean, we even saw how Thor got dragged into the whole thing because he's after Loki and the Tesseract. It all made sense. Uh, we saw Iron Man saying no initially when Phil Coulson comes to see him, um, but then showing up in Germany, Stuttgart to help out when Captain America was, was fighting Loki. Um, there was a lot of Easter eggs that I picked up as well. Um, with how the mind gem was actually messing with everybody when they first got into an argument of the helicarrier, which eventually led to Hulk and Thor's fight in the um, um, on the helicarrier as well. We we also saw Iron Man and Captain America's feud begin in this first Avengers movie um, when they were arguing about threats to the world and how Tony Stark um, was running his company and being an arms dealer and profiting off of you know war and things like that. Um, so, so that was a nice foreshadowing to 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 think for uh, for things to come. It was a great film. Um, the visual effects were stunning. Uh, the screenplay, as I mentioned before, was written well. Um, I even liked the way 
things concluded where they had to split up first and and come together because of Phil Coulson's death mostly and <clears throat> everybody else doing some minor soul searchings uh, to, to some degree for them to actually finally um, assemble as the Avengers as we know them to be and that last action sequence lasted such a long time but it was brilliantly done I mean even the team up type of choreography that Joss Whedon did um, you know when Hulk would be helping Thor on that huge uh, monster that was deploying other smaller Shatari um, and also Hawkeye and Black Widow um, doing their thing on the ground. It was it was so well done. The way each of those scenes just sort of like flowed into each other and carried on, you know, with without actually skipping a beat. That was very well done. And it was nice to see Nick Fury in action in that movie um, when he was actually fighting off certain soldiers in the helicarrier and him and uh, Marion Hill actually working as a team to do that. I'm not sure how it did critically in the box office, but I do know that Black Panther actually did surpass it recently. And um, it was it was critically well received though, as far as I know. And um, it, 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 it's the thing that actually now solidified the fact that the MCU is a shared universe of films that will be going forward featuring all of these characters and possibly introducing new ones as well. So. Yeah, man, I, I felt exactly the same way watching this movie now as I did as a kid, you know? Um, it was, my only gripe with it is that Edward Norton didn't return to play the Hulk, but uh, Mark, Mark Ruffalo did do a great job in doing that, uh, in playing that character as well. Apparently, he's a good friend of Edward Norton who actually suggested him for the role after things fell out between him and um, his management company as well as um, Marvel, Marvel Studios. So yeah, this was a great movie. Um, in terms of rating, I can't see myself giving it less anything less than a ten. You know, um, yeah, that's that, that's all I'll give it. I mean, even Mark Ruffalo aside, you know, if he was not a worthy replacement, I probably would have felt different. But I say this movie just deserves a ten, and it actually saddens me to watch this movie again, uh, knowing that this was Marvel's first attempt at a superhero team up movie. And they did it so much better than what Justice League was done, even with the inclusion of Joss Whedon at the end of the reshoots. It really saddens me. But yeah, look, uh, post your comments down below. Uh, if you like retro film reviews, let me know what you thought of The Avengers when you first saw it, uh, or if you've ever rewatched it. And if you enjoyed this video, please click on the thumbs up icon and leave us a like. And if you'd like to see more from Earth Level Entertainment, please subscribe and please click on the bell icon to make sure that you are notified every time I drop new content on the channel. Otherwise, guys, thanks again for spending time with me. As usual, take care of each other, stay awesome, to infinity and beyond. Hey guys, thanks a lot. If you want to see some more from us, click here or click here.